Hey you guys, what is real food? If you've ever visited my blog or seen any of my previous videos, you'll notice that I talk a lot about real food. And you might be wondering, isn't all food real? Well, to me, real food is simple, uncomplicated, and as close to its natural state as possible. I'm not a huge fan of all of the buzzwords that surround kind of the great food debate right now. So I'm not paleo, I'm not vegan, I'm not gluten-free or any of that. The basic way that I define um, my lifestyle or my diet, if you wanna call it that, is coming from nature. So if it comes from nature, I'm gonna eat it. And first and foremost, that includes fruits and vegetables. Um, I eat whole grains, I eat beans, I eat nuts, um, I eat meat. Um, a lot of people are surprised by that. I do eat meat and I eat dairy, but I try my hardest when I can afford it to buy either locally raised or grass-fed meat and dairy. So basically that is what works for me. What works for you might be different, uh, but that is what I call real food. So if you're wondering when you see that term on my blog or you hear me talk about real food in any of my videos, that is what I'm talking about. So you might be wondering now that you know what real food means to me, what do I consider fake food? Well, I try my hardest to avoid highly processed foods and foods that contain um, artificial ingredients or additives that I don't think are necessary and I think might be harmful to my body. So that is basically what I consider fake food. So I thought the best way to show you guys what I consider real food versus fake food would be to take you to the grocery store with me. And where are we today? The grocery store I'm going to take you to is Walmart's neighborhood market. So this is a Walmart near where I work and um, all it has is food. So it doesn't have like the normal Walmart stuff. It just has food. But I just wanted to show you guys that you can even find what I consider real food at Walmart, but it's full of fake food too. And yes, before you even ask, it was really awkward um, talking to the camera in Walmart. I got so many um, weird looks and people like being like, what is she doing? But I did it for you guys, my viewers, my dedicated viewers, my huge fan base, you know, I did it for you guys. Love you, Mom. Here we go. Broccoli is real food. Broccoli with cheese sauce is not. Ew. Bananas are real food. Okay, example of real food are oats, old fashioned 100% whole grain oats. Fake food, Quaker instant oatmeal, artificial fruit and cream flavors, artificially flavored fruit pieces and non-dairy creamer. So why don't we combine the bananas I showed you earlier and those oats to make bananas and cream oatmeal. Let's see how Quaker does it. Okay, so the ingredients in the banana and cream flavor of this instant oatmeal are whole grain rolled oats, sugar, creaming agent, maltodextrin, partially hydrogenated soybean oil, whey, sodium caseinate, banana flake powder, salt, calcium carbonate, guar gum, artificial flavor, niacinamide, reduced iron, vitamin A palmitate, pyroxene hydrochlorine, riboflavin, thiamine mononitrate and folic acid. So there is more maltodextrin and partially hydrogenated soybean oil in this box than there is banana. But they don't put that on the cover. Brown rice is real food. Uncle Ben's ready whole grain medley brown and wild rice is not real food. Why? Let's see what Uncle Ben puts in this little package. We've got whole grain parboiled brown rice, 
red rice, wild rice, canola oil and or sunflower oil, seasoning blend, hydrolyzed corn and soy protein, hydrolyzed soy wheat gluten protein, yeast extract, sugar, garlic powder, sea salt, potassium chloride, onion, salt, parsley, torula yeast, spinach, spices, celery stalk and leaf, natural smoke flavor, extractive of paprika, color and natural flavors. Uncle Ben, why are you putting sugar in my brown rice? <sighs> Apples are real food. Apple cinnamon Nutri-Grain bars. Might be a value pack, but it's not real food. This ingredient list is a very long one, so you've got to stick with me here. We have whole grain oats, enriched flour, vitamin B2, whole wheat flour, soybean and or canola oil, soluble corn fiber, sugar, dextrose, fructose. All three of those are sugar, by the way. Calcium carbonate, whey, wheat bran, salt, cellulose, potassium bicarbonate, natural and artificial flavor, cinnamon and mono diglycerides, mo oh, mono and diglycerides. Soy, lecithin, wheat gluten, niacinamide, vitamin A, palpamate, carrageenan, zinc oxide, reduced iron, guar gum, vitamin B6, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, invert sugar, corn syrup, apple puree, concentration, glycerin, sugar, modified cornstarch, sodium alginate, malic acid, methyl cellulose, dicalcium phosphate, cinnamon, citric acid, and caramel color. What? There's hardly any apple in these apple cinnamon nutrient bars. I think there's more cinnamon than apple. There should be cinnamon apple. They're apple cinnamon. These are not real food. Don't buy them. Don't eat them. They're not real food. Eggs. They're real food too. Egg beaters? Not so much. All right, so the ingredients in these are egg whites, natural flavor, color, spices, salt, onion powder, vegetable gums, xanthan gum, and guar gum. That's not real food. Organic milk is real food. Fat-free coffee creamer is not. So the ingredients in this, the first ingredient is water, then corn syrup, vegetable oil, high oleic soybean and or partially hydrogenated soybean and or partially hydrogenated cottonseed oils, less than 2% of sugar, sodium caseinate, modified cornstarch, dipotassium phosphate, mono and diglycerides, artificial flavor, color added, salt and carrageenan. It does make a note at the end though that it contains a milk derivative. Not real not real food. So a real food would be this plain yogurt. Ideally it would be full fat. This is only 2% fat, but that's okay. I eat um, whole fat dairy products, but this is plain yogurt. No sugar or flavors added. It's just plain. Yo plate original strawberry banana yogurt. Not so real. So I don't know if you guys can see the ingredients. First we have cultured pasteurized grade A low fat milk, sugar, strawberries, modified cornstarch, non-fat milk, banana puree, kosher gelatin, citric acid, natural flavor, tricalcium tri phosphate, pectin colored with carmine, vitamin A, acetate, and vitamin D. So this means there's more sugar in this little cup of yogurt than strawberries. There's more modified cornstarch than banana. So that's it. We made it through Walmart. We found plenty of real food, and we also found plenty of nasty fake food. The goal of my blog and of this channel is to share with you guys how I'm able to eat real food on a super tight budget and without a ton of extra time. Um, and definitely one of the ways that I do that is shopping at cheaper stores like Walmart. So some people hate Walmart, but the point of this video was to show you that you can definitely get healthy foods at basically any grocery store or any outlet you have. You don't have to have a Whole Foods or an Earth Fair or Trader Joe's or anything like that. You can get it at Walmart. So now that you know what real food means to me, you are probably wondering 
why I care so much about eating real food and why I'm so passionate about health and nutrition and why I write a food blog and make these silly YouTube videos to share with you guys. Um, and I will answer that in my next video. But in the meantime, if you wanna see any more tips and tricks on how to afford real food on a super tight budget without a lot of extra time, please hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And also visit my blog, frugalfoodiefrank.com. I know that's a mouthful, but I will put the link in the description below, okay? Thank you.